and welcome back to my channel. It is currently summer book sale season in Tokyo, which means foreign books at 60% off price, which means they're cheaper than what you would actually buy in the original country of origin, which means book haul. <laughs> like, like, I can't not buy these books. I mean, at these prices, you, you would have to be stupid not to buy books. So this is the time of year where I, I get I get a little crazy. And today um, we're doing French language books because that's what the book sale that just came. Next weekend, they're starting the English language book sale. So I will be going back to the store and seeing um, what they have there. But today I wanted to do the French language books. The majority of these have not been translated to English. So I'm going to start off with what has been translated to English and then if you don't if you don't read if you can't read French you can just stop watching the video after that so I'll let you know when that happens um, so let's start off with the first book which is actually Spanish um, I did pick up one book in Spanish and that is Mundo del fin del mundo by Luis Sepulveda um, so the world at the end of the world um, Luis Sepulveda is a Chilean author that I've read actually quite a few books um, by him. Um, the man who reads something, something, I don't know. It's, it's been a really, really long time, but I really enjoy his books. I really like his writing. He's very, very easy to read. So he's very good for reading in Spanish when it's been a long time, like me, it's been a long time since I've read in Spanish. Um, but I saw this and I just really need to pick, pick it up because I just remember, um, really liking his books and this is just about um, um, a man who joins Greenpeace and uh, goes into marine biology and so I think it's going to be a lot about um, the grass between nature and man so I think this would be very very good so that's the very first book that's available in English um, and then I have a play that I've been wanting to read almost the majority of my life and that is Cyrano de Bergerac by Edmund Edmond Roston, Edmond Roston. Uh, Cyrano de Bergerac is a very, very famous play about this man with a big nose who is in love with his cousin, but unfortunately, because of his big nose, he's afraid that she'll never love him back. Um, but in, so instead, he actually helps another man um, basically seduce her. But uh, Cyrano himself is a man of letters. His cousin is also a woman who is very much in love with the French language and French poetry and um, the man who's trying to seduce her is not very well educated and so Cyrano takes it above uh, takes it upon himself to help him seduce this cousin and I've loved this story ever since um, the Gérard Depardieu movie that movie I just absolutely love I love the rhythm of this play and I just I've always wanted to read it and I always told myself next time I'm in France I am buying this book and lo and behold it was in the book sale and I'm so excited like this. I can't, I, I'm so excited. I just, I, oh, I'm so, so ready to read this. After that, I got, um, I got mostly Japanese books um, just because obviously I live in Japan. It's a bookstore in Japan. And so they have a very heavy um, Japanese books in translation section, which I absolutely adore. So I just like, I devastated that pile. Um, but I got uh, Tokyo Zodiac Murders by uh, Soji, it says Soji, but that's, not, I mean, is this supposed to be Shoji? It's a very uncommon name. So Soji Shimada. This is available in English and it is a mystery thriller. So I'm not going to go into this, um, but it's, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Excited about that one. Then I got Pays de Neige, Snow Country by Yasunari Kawabata. And I know that I said I was going to finally give up on Kawabata after I read Dandelions and hated that book, but... I haven't read his most famous, which is Snow Country. And so I figured I need to read this first before I officially, officially abandon him. Um, so yeah, Snow Country is just, his, it's it's basically um, the life in Hokkaido in the very north of um, Japan, which is an area I haven't read that much about. And it's an area I haven't visited yet. So I am going to read one more Kawabata, I think, before I officially give up on him. But yeah, super excited to have this one. And that's it, those are all the books that I bought that are available in English translation. The rest <laughs> are not. So sorry for you people who don't read um, French, but you're welcome to leave here. And for the rest of you guys, let's continue. Um, the first book I bought was um, Hozuki by Akishimazaki. Akishimazaki is Japanese reader, but actually she lives in Canada 
and she writes in French. So this, these are not translated, but she has a whole series of these. Um, I've read also, I've already read um, Azami, and it's actually part of the same series. This is the first book, this is the second book, um, and I'm actually already almost done with that. I'll be finished that, that today for the month of July. Um, but she has this just this whole series of books that are really fantastic because it follows like it's like when you read a book and you follow all these characters and there are side characters where you wonder I wonder what their life was like what was their perspective on this this incident or where did their life go after this book and so she writes that she follows one character and then here is another character that interacted with people here so it's all these inter interconnecting stories and you just get a glimpse in all these people's lives so I bought the second um, within this little series and um, very much enjoy it. I love her books. They're, they're so easy to read and they're just a nice moment you spend with people that you wouldn't, you know, get to know very well otherwise. So I got that, which is exciting. I got uh, Meurtre à la cour du prince Genji by Nagao Se uh, Seo. Um, this I'm very exciting because it's a mystery during um the tale of genji which i've never read that like a mystery back in that time um sounds so good there's there's incest and black magic and poisonings and intrigue and a labyrinth like this this is going to be so good i'm super excited about that one the next book i got is the only book i was a little question hesitant to get i'm not sure but i think it could be really interesting um but that is the book cold boy by ishida ira um, which is just gonna go, I think, into a little bit more of the underground of Japan, but from the perspective not of a female hostess, but of a male hostess, which is definitely a perspective I haven't read before. And so I think this could be really, really interesting. Um, and I've never read this author. And I actually haven't read a lot of these authors. I haven't, I, I haven't read Nagao Seo either. So the next book I got was Une Voix Dans la Nuit by Inoue Yasushi, which if you have just read my, not just read, if you have just seen my video, my top 10 favorite Japanese books, you will know that Shirobamba by Inoue Yasushi is one of them. So um, I will be revisiting this author who I haven't read in 15 years or so, maybe even more than that. Um, but yeah, I, um, I just, I, I don't even know what this book is about, but I love this author and I'm really happy to finally uh, revisit his works. Then you have Soudain J'ai Entendu La Voix de L'eau by Kawakami Hiromi. Um, this is the author of, um, the, the, the book is actually called The Professor's Briefcase, but it was translated into English. It was given a different title called uh, Strange Weather in Tokyo. So this is the uh, author of Strange Weather in Tokyo. So this book could be translated into English at one point, um, but for now, there's this is only available in French as far as I know. And it's around, yes, yes, it's around the 1995 sarin gas attacks by Om Shinrikyo, which is an event I've covered uh, very, very heavily in reading. And so I think it'll be really, really fascinating to see what perspective she gives on that event. Um, so very excited about this one. Then um, an author I was not familiar with, Ikuni Kaori, I got from this author, Dans la Barque de Dieu. Um, and this is just about a woman who lives, um, who continues to live in different uh, uh, towns. She just keeps on switching. She never um, stays in the same town and just kind of follows her life. Um, and I think this could be very, very interesting. Uh, like, it's just, it, it, oh, it sounds so intriguing. Then I got another author I've never read, and that is uh, Nakamura Fuminori, and the title is L'hiver dernier, je me suis séparé de toi. Um, so this is a roman noir that flirts with uh, gothic friction, which for me, just that sounds fantastic. Um, it's about a journalist who's supposed to write a book about a photograph, and then things happen, and I think it's just going to be a world of intrigue so yeah i think this is this is very very exciting then i got pauvre chose by wataya lisa another author that i'm not familiar with um and this is just about two people in the mountains <laughs> so i don't know i see i just i mean i devastated that pile of books um because i mean typically the french people translate very excellent books so i'm, I'm very 
I trust I trust their choices. But this actually won the Kinsaburo Oe Prize, um, which isn't a prize I actually follow. Um, I'm definitely a fan of the, the Akutagawa Prize. Um, but yeah, I'll be interested to finally read a book from you can who a book that has won the Kinsaburo Oe Prize. So excited about that. Then I bought uh, Jeune Fille à l'ouvrage by Yoko Ogawa. Uh, Yoko Ogawa um, has been translated into English. Um, the most famous being The Housekeeper and the Professor, um, which I actually have not read. Um, and then she wrote Memory Police, right? I think, yeah, I think she wrote Memory Police. Um, but um, this is actually a short story collection, so very excited to read some short stories. So those are all the books that I read by, Jap not that I read, that I bought for Japanese authors. Um, and then I also got a Chinese book by, so I got L'Evangile selon Yongsheng de, uh, Sai, de, by Dai Sijie, um, who wrote uh, Balzac la petite ailleuse chinoise, which has been translated to English as Balzac and the little Chinese sim seamstress, seamstress, which I enjoyed that book, but it wasn't really a favorite. I was, it was, it was, it, it was fine. It was perfectly fine, but it never really had as lasting an impression on me as um, maybe it had on others. So I never really considered reading that author again, but this one is about um, Christianity in China, which is a topic that I really like. I love reading about um, Christianity in other countries. I've read some in Japan. I recently read about um, Christianity and it wasn't, was it Nigeria? I don't think it was um, Nigeria, Kenya, maybe. Gosh, my memory is, is, is failing me today. Um, but yeah, so it's, 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 it's a topic that I really, really um, love reading about because the whole idea of people pushing Christianity on others, I mean, just pushing any religion on others, I find absolutely despicable. Um, I, it's, it's something I just really, really despise. And so I'm, I've, and I've never read it from uh, pushing Christianity into China. So I'm really interested in this one. I think it's going to be really, really good. So L'Evangile selon Yongshen. Then I got a Luc Les Yaux, um, Peuple du Ciel, which is just two novellas. So it's Peuple du Ciel et Les Bergers. So those are the two um, short stories, novellas in this book. I've only read Luc Les Yaux's L'Africa. Um, I know Luc Lizio is kind of a very much a hate or love author, um, but I read L'Africa and I really, really loved that book. Um, I thought it was beautiful. And the thing that, that I really liked about it is that um, my mother was raised in Senegal. And so L'Africa really gave me the opportunity to have an idea about her childhood, which was really, really lovely to see. Um, but yeah, I haven't read any Luclisio since then, so I decided to pick up this because it was available. So that so excited about this. And then the very final book is by Sandrine Colette, and the book is Juste après la vague. So I really liked Sandrine Colette's uh, Rien que de la poussière, which I, I did read in English, uh, Nothing but Dust. But yeah, Rien que de la poussière, I thought was absolutely beautiful. Um, this book is very much about... Um, it, it, it reminded me of Marguerite Duras, uh, The Lover, L'Amant, uh, but in Patagonia. Like, it had that same feeling, a very, very difficult, uh, tough mother um, raising her children in a land that isn't very, um, that is also just as um, tough and difficult to handle and to master. And, um, I mean, this book was absolutely beautiful. I really like this. So when I saw that this this book, I had to pick it up. Um, Juste après la vague, because it also sounded interesting. Because um, basically, um, a volcano erupts. The island that this mother and father are on is uh, basically falling into the sea. They have to escape with their eight children. And while they're on the boat escaping from the island, they realize that not all the children can come along. So I, I think this is gonna be like really, really dark. Um, and I'm really looking forward to like reading about, you know, the decision-making that the parents will have to go through deciding who gets to live and who gets to die. Cause I think it's interesting that it doesn't seem like they're willing to sacrifice themselves. They're gonna sacrifice the children. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's it. Those are all the books that I picked up 
um, from the French language book sale. 16 books in total, if I counted correctly. Super excited. Hey, I've already, I'm only like 20 pages away from one of them. And yeah, I mean, they're all, a lot of them are quite, quite short. And um, I got a lot of them so that I can read them at lunch during work. These will be perfect um, books to read then. And that way I can make sure I'm reading French every day and just not just English. So yeah, those are the books that I picked up in the month of June. French language book haul. And I'm very much looking forward to the English language book sale coming next weekend. We'll see what happens. Um, and maybe there'll be a video coming up. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye.